we always talk about this idea of an embodied positive psychology. Mm -hmm. That, that what we're, when we're linking the concept of joy and contentment intellectually mm -hmm. with the felt sense in our body, mm -hmm. that that's a very strong linkage if we understand the sensations and the intellectual understanding. How, do you, how does your research help inform us on how to do that well? I think therapies in, implicitly try to do, whether they are implicitly or explicitly doing it, you know, therapies say when there's somebody who, um, you know, comes to a psychotherapist because they are struggling in daily life, that's when the therapist takes a step back and says, okay, we're going to help you sort of figure out your emotions, right? We're going to help you become better at labeling your emotions. Um, we're going to help you become better at sort of categorizing what certain sensations mean. And we assume that that's something only for people who are really very rudimentary at doing it, right? The, the assumption is that there's something pathological about people who don't know how to do that, who need to go to therapy and figure out and learn. Um, and yet, you know, as you're sort of suggesting, everyone could benefit from this in daily life. Being more mindful of what their sensations are in the moment, what they mean, and thus how you're feeling actually is really adaptive for almost everything. So knowing in the moment that you're hungry instead of angry, we actually have some research on that do, in my lab. Do. We do. Hangry is a because real thing. <laughs> hangry is such, a, you know, such an important experience in many people's daily lives. I feel hangry all the time. Um, <laughs> And, and knowing the difference yes. is actually really crucial for how you regulate your behavior, how you engage interpersonally with other people. And so I think the first step is, is caring, right? I, I think the first step for people is to recognize that this is even important to do in the first place. And, you know, there's probably people out there who think, well, emotions, you know, who cares about emotions, right? Or emotions are things that are nuisances. They aren't things that I should focus on and be interested in and dedicate sort of cognitive energy to, to trying to figure out. So, um, you know, you asked, how do we get adults to do this in daily life? And I think the first, first bit of it is to even care to sort of go there and introspect a little bit and say, what are my sensations? What, what is going on in my environment? And how do I make meaning of what I'm feeling?